Hey guys, this is Kim from Creative DIY Purpose and welcome to my channel. I am super excited about today's projects and I can't wait to share them with you. I'm doing the faux cement technique, applying it to different types of material. We're gonna try it on a thin plastic, a metal, pottery, and glass. And I'm gonna give you guys some different tips and tricks on how you can fit them into just about any decor, whether it's cottage core, shabby chic, farmhouse, just traditional boho. So I am super excited to bring you along with me. So grab your paintbrush, some baking soda, and your favorite type of paint, and let's get started. All right, so to make these projects super easy, I'm gonna be using the same paint for all four projects. And I actually used this on a previous video where I did three other projects with the same paint. So it really went a long way. So I'm just taking some leftover floor paint. I try to use whatever I have on hand and then my handy dandy chalk paint, Rust-Oleum in linen white. And then I added probably about half of the amount in baking soda and what we're going to do is create a faux concrete look to all of these pieces and after you take some fine grit sandpaper and just try to rough up the surface a little bit you just slap this on in any any way that you choose depends on how much texture that you want to create and i'm going to end up applying two coats on this piece. Prior to painting this on, you can also, when working with super slick surfaces, you can also apply a sealer first and it helps to adhere. And then you can also apply it in between coats. Now I've never done that before. And I've always, it's always adhered really well, but I do seal every single piece afterwards. And now I'm just dabbing it on. I don't really want too much texture, but I want some depth. And you will see by looking in my bowl, it sat out for a few hours while my pieces were drying. And it really is just like concrete. And you can always add a little bit of water in there to um, get it liquidy again, but it was, it was fine, it worked out great. And it dries super fast. I'm just putting some texture on there. Now, once your piece dries, if you feel that you have too much texture, you can go over it with fine grit sandpaper. And then you guys, look, I'm absolutely in love with this piece. I'm, I think I'm keeping it. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful. It was a picture that I got at a thrift store for I think $4 and I love it. And I actually found carnations and daisies in September at the store the other day. So what a perfect cottage shabby look. All right, so for project number two, we are going to be upcycling three of these cheap disposable flower pots and we're gonna give them some depth. So I did the same exact technique and now what I'm doing is dry brushing on some of the chalk paint to add depth. And you can always wipe some of it back if you feel that you have too much but it really puts some good thickness into these flower pots. I'm in love with the little wire carrier for them. So because we are going to use them probably for real plants, I did not put any on the inside. And I, again, I will seal these so that they are waterproof. All right, we're going to add some IOD stamps. I, I want them to kind of have that weathered vintage vibe. And I definitely don't want them to look like they're plastic. All right, so we are going to stamp. And I got it all over me. Some days I am super messy when I'm doing my crafting. 
And then other times I can paint an entire room and never get a drop on me. But <laughs> I had this ink all over. But these, if you've never used the IOD stamps, they're incredible quality. And you're not really supposed to lift it up like that and re-push it down, but I, it worked. Because there was so much texture, it really was a challenge. And then you just want to make sure you're pressing down every single little piece. There we go. And that was a little faint, so I'm just pushing in there. They're really super easy to work with. Yeah, you're not supposed to lift it up and do that, but I did. And ta-da! And you can spray seal the stamp on there as well, the ink. Um, just give it a little few hours to dry. And you can also apply polyacrylic on top of it. And in previous videos, I have put them on fabric. And I just iron the ink right in there to let to get it to set. Here we are with project number three, and this one took a completely different turn than what I originally had in mind. I really went outside of my comfort zone with this. My style is to definitely do things in more of a cottage or farmhouse or shabby or just plain neutral style, but sometimes I just like to challenge myself and do something new. So. I was gonna paint it white and decided last minute to paint it black. So here I am, I grab my DIY white wax and I'm trying to add some depth to it or, or some type of aged look to it. And then I bro broke out the cinnamon. And honestly, at this point, I have no idea what I'm doing. And this whole process that you see with me just dabbing them both on, this took over a half hour and I was just determined to just to just to get it to where I liked it. And then I noticed that that corner looked just like rusted cast iron. And so I just decided I was going to go for that look. Now I got up super early in the morning. So I was nice and fresh with it with a good cup of ice cold brew. And I just sat here and just dabbed, wiped off, and then I did it. And I went right out and used some spray sealer. I love it because my dining room smelled like pumpkin spice. It was awesome. And then I had a lot of fun staging this one.
right, and here we are with our fourth and final project. I picked up this glass carafe at a yard sale for 50 cents. I actually collect these and we use them. We fill them with water and ice and put them on the table when we're dining. And that way anybody can have a refill when they want. But I couldn't get the Denny's thing off of there. Didn't really care for it. So here I am we're putting on two coats. So I applied one by brushing on side to side. And then the next coat that I did, I did from top to bottom just to add a different type of texture. And now I'm just going in with the dry brush just to bring out some of the depth. You can also dab a like a toothbrush or a small brush in some brown paint and do little spots of flex in different areas. Or you can also put some cinnamon or nutmeg. And I've actually used black pepper before just for some more of a concrete look. thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to comment below and let me know which project was your favorite. And make sure to subscribe for more DIYs. God bless and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.